Hello fellow YouTubers, this is the Imaginator. Welcome to my review of One Piece Mind Chapter 1032. The title of this One Piece Mind Chapter is called Oldest Beloved Blade. And I see the, the very first page I see is a read request page of Yamatil and some black, black cats uh, delivering these bags and went barrel to this elderly lady, which is always fun to see those kind of like one page, those one pages uh, series of events. Well, one page of it. Then we get to the beginning of the chapter where a lot has occurred in this chapter, a lot of stuff. And the first thing we, well, I see is Izo and Marco's uh, interaction, and Marco and Larry say, you know, I can't let this uh, injured, fiery bird, you know, fly around. Izo, obviously, you know, he apologizes and say he received a message. And as Marco and Izo making their separate way, we're well, going their separate ways. Big Mom uh, doesn't notice them, which I find pretty strange, maybe because she's so focused in her battle against one kid. Which I guess that makes sense. Because when you're that focused, you don't really notice things that have, that are happening in your surroundings. Uh, so then we get to the next panel section where we have the uh, second basement level. Uh, we have Yamato, X-Ray, Apu, and the, number, and the ginormous number creature, Fuga. And they're still running around and we get some hilarious dialogue, exchange of dialogue between the three. Um, it basically, uh, who is saying, Hey, Yamato, you know, I'm still, there's still something I want to, uh, tell you. Hear me out. And Yamato is like, uh, no, I'm kind of busy right now. And x is like, you know, you can't get away, Apu. And then we get a sudden announcement that is heard throughout when he got Shima that the ginormous, fiery, uh, creature that, uh, Kuzomi created it. Is uh, constantly descending on Onigashima, and Yamato has come to the realization that it's currently at the at their level at the second basement floor, but it's heading towards the armory. If it gets to the armory, it makes it in contact with the bombs. The bombs are obviously going to step off and pretty much this become make a ginormous explosion enough to uh, decimate the entire normal country. Uh, so that's extremely bad news. And then we have some scenes of Robin and Brooke as they're continuously running away from CP0. Um, and they actually land on Fuga's he uh, head, well, hair, <laughs> actually. And they was great to fight. But then we have Apu and x encountering C CP0 members. Um, and Apu is basically, you know, saying, oh, well, Morgan, who's that, that bird reporter, you know, he can make some good uh, news. If Apu actually takes some pictures and actually show it to him, but of course he beats your friend's this. Uh, she got using their technique, she got successfully uh, hurting and penetrating Apu's body. He falls down on the ground and then X ray tries to defend himself, but it turns out Apu uh, was still, you know, cautious and record of my right mode to attack them, and he successfully does his technique. And then we get like a little, another exchange of words of them, you know, of a poo say, you know, I've armed a hockey idiot. <laughs> and then they finally join forces, you know, completely, you know, this time, like, officially. Um, and then we get the Zoro and King fight, where Zoro is trying to figure out King's fighting style. And King pretty much makes up fun of Zoro, saying, you know, this is basically how the Panosaurus, you know, used to hunt you know, people in ancient times. Um, and then Emma starts to act up and we get like this fiery like energy oozing out of Emma. And even Zora doesn't know what's going on. And then near the last portion of the chapter we we have uh oh yeah and Emma actually is, is Zoro saying she's uh Seamason, which is I guess the song or some type of vibration that it probably is probably a song actually vibration that you that is pretty much heard but actually yeah we get to Orochi which is like a chapter of him actually hearing Sami Shin so maybe he's or actually heard Sami Shin for all the way up only gosh no from where he's at and when Orochi heard it much closer because he got to closer to the person that's playing it and we and it's revealed the person that's playing the Shima Sin is actually uh 
Kurosaki. Kurosaki. And obviously, Orochi is acting like he's in heaven because he thought that she died. But during that incident when he was in the main, in the flower capital, oh, oh, I know. And that's pretty much the end of the chapter. Uh, overall, I thought, like I said before, there was a lot going on in the chapter. Um, I like the funny exchanges between the some most of the characters in the chapter, like Yamato, Apu, X Drake. Um, the battle between Zoro and King is going pretty well. I like how Zoro is just not just fighting King, but trying to figure out his fighting style to first discover a weakness so he'd be able to defeat King. And the danger obviously revolving around the ginormous fiery creature that Horizonte created uh, is very apparent and high. So I'm glad Yamato is actually playing like much more. Um, noticing this and is trying to prevent it from getting to the Elmer room uh, as much as possible. And let's see any more thoughts. Nope, that is it. That is pretty much my thoughts overall. I thought the chapter was very, was great overall. And uh, hopefully you guys and ladies like uh, the video. Comment your thoughts down below the chapter. And subscribe to the to my channel, The Imagine, for more market chapter reviews and any discussions and many more. With what I being said, fellow YouTubers, you all have a wonderful day.